everybody. Thought I'd take a quick video of this spectacular find of recent times. Uh, it's going out to, the, to a customer in the morning, getting loaded partly with all this stuff that's going to, in a container. Uh, this incredible 520 kilo AC-14 anchor from the Royal Navy minesweepers. Uh, the largest minesweepers have these, probably a hunt class minesweeper with its 20 links of uh, anchor cable on there. Why is it made of bronze? Well, that's what everybody was asking us at Southampton Boat Show. Well, of course, minesweepers have to have, uh, they have to be anti-magnetic. All the fixtures, fittings have to be made of either plastic, wood or bronze. And uh, for the cleats, the fair leads, the anchors, the chain, there's so much on board that, uh, you know, when, it, when a minesweeper is getting broken, I'm first there trying to secure this stuff. This is going to be extremely rare, this anchor, mainly because it's probably the only one outside of the Royal Navy, in fact, because at 520 odd kilos, it's worth two and a half to three thousand pounds just by throwing it in the scrap. So that tends to be what happens to these when they come out of the Royal Navy. They get thrown straight in the pot for easy money. Incredibly hard to get this looking like this, I've got to say. 20 odd layers of Royal Navy grey, warship grey paint. This Danforth anchor is the next thing off to the polishes, along with some more stud link chain from the minesweeper. This is what it looks like before we, uh, before we start restoring it. It does cost us a lot of money polishing, I've got to say. We, we probably spend the best part of a grand a week. In our showrooms, we've got some more of the minesweeper range. It's quite a large range, in fact, because there's all sorts of bits and bobs, as I say. We're particularly happy with this coffee table that we've made out of this double fair lead. The largest fair leads that you get from the similar minesweepers to where the AC-14 came from. About 70 kilos of phosphor bronze, solid double fair lead, beveled glass, sculpturally beautiful when it's a, just a 100% functional piece. You can see around it also, there's a, a smaller um, it's inshore minesweeper anchor, more the traditional fisherman's type. And, uh, you know, on top of the glass, we've got the, the end result in terms of this double chain, this stud link bronze chain. Uh, which sell really well. We do them in singles, doubles, and trebles. The most popular one is the, um, is the, 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 the double. People like, to, like the fact that it represents that unbreakable union and partners and, and, uh, and husbands and wives buy these for each other because these beautiful, they look beautiful and they, uh, they nice paperweight for the desk or something like that. The stud link chain, along with a lot of these other things are an iconic design. Um, iconic, iconic in the fact that, that uh, you know, the stud link chain, that stud in the middle of the chain, was part of our industrial revolution. We were building steam engines and, and engines that were, that were capable of lifting more and pulling more, but the chain wasn't strong enough to take it. So the, 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 the invention of the addition to that stud in the chain trebled, quadrupled the weight that these engines could, could haul or lift which again kept that upward curve of our incredible industrial revolution that we're so proud of. My favorite thing in my collection, and just to prove the point of how everything on, on a minesweeper is made of bronze, even from the workshop, the, uh, the vices of bronze. You won't buy that from me. I collect bronze tools um, and it took me 15 years to find that. So, I hope you've enjoyed the range. I could talk much more about it, but I'd, for fear of boring you, I'll stop here now. Rest assured though, if you, if you hear of a minesweeper getting broken or getting scrapped anywhere in the world, let me know, I'll be there.